So for today's fun and excitement, we're going to do a soup can stove. Well, this is a beans can, but same thing. It's a really good thing to know how to make in any survival situation. That way, if you ever need to cook your food, make a quick stove, using a can, we're going to round up some tools, and we're going to do this. So making the soup can stove isn't overly difficult. Uh, it's, I mean, you're probably going to want to start with peeling the label off. I mean, it'll burn off once you start using it. But you get the minor threat of possible contamination. Do that. Put that with the rest of our garbage. Okay, so typical of anything that's holding fire, it's going to need to be able to get air and it's going to be able to need to vent its exhaust. So we're going to want to use the lid of the can like that to be the base for our stove. But now obviously there's going to be the problem, no oxygen going in, nowhere for the air to go. So it's just going to gonna burn itself out in this configuration. So... We're going to have to cut sides out in order to let the heat escape from the top. And then we're going to have to poke holes in order to let the air in from the bottom. So we're going to start with the top. Now you need some basic tools here. A pair of tin snips would work great, but I don't have those. All I got are axes and knives. And with using one hand, this can be pretty difficult. But all we really need to do is give her one of them. Got to be careful not to cut yourself, obviously. And we'll just fold those in like that. We'll give another one on this side. The idea here is to have posts to hold the top of the can up and still let the heat come around. All right, there you go. So now the lid fits on there nicely, most, for the most part, anyway. But we got enough that it'll vent out as it burns. Now we need holes in it. Put the old ratchet right there to hold her in place. And then we'll take, you don't want to use your good knife. And then just stab a little hole like that. Go across it like that. And then try to push that in. So, I'll do another one right here. Alright, that was a bit of a hassle. So, anyway, I got this stuff. These are fire starter bricks. You can pick these up at the dollar store for a couple bucks. You get a box of like a hundred of them. They're pretty good. They're just sawdust and beeswax pressed together. One of them will burn for about 20 minutes. They're scented, which kind of sucks. I mean, you can pick them up unscented. Now, you can use just two of these in here. Now, you don't need any wood. Now, collecting wood getting twigs and stuff that would work fine too but I mean if you've got these then just use these to cook with and it'll be enough so we'll just plop that on into there standing upright we'll keep another one around just in case we need it and when we light it we'll put that on there but now we need something to cook so now any old can of whatever you want to cook will work the only thing is you need to be really careful of what kind of can you get because some of them have plastic on the inside of the can now for sterility or whatever and you don't want to cook those cans because then plastic melts and gets in your food and it sucks however I got a can of mushroom soup that'll work just fine and we'll just place it on top like that just don't ever apply direct heat to a soup can that has the plastic crap in it. And 
take the label off. Very super important thing is that you gotta open your can before you apply heat to it. Never, 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 ever heat up a can that is sealed unless you want your shit to explode. I mean, it's a neat effect. They call it a blevy. Boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. But it'll blow up in your face and it'll hurt like hell. I mean, you won't get shrapnel, but you'll get burning hot soup all over your face. So, always open your can before you start cooking. Alright, can of soup is open. Inspect it, make sure it doesn't have the plastic stuff on it. Looks good. Since it doesn't have the plastic stuff on it, we can commence with cooking. Oh. Now these things are easier to light with a match. And then you just put it in. You want to stand it up about like that. Just need to light one corner of it. Once it gets going, gently plop her on in. Try to keep it standing so it don't burn out. Looks like it's doing good. And we'll put our lid on like so. And then we put that there like that. And just let the fucker cook. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of black smoke coming out of here. So it's pretty high carbon. In this situation, it's okay because we've got it con contained, but if you were to use this setup for like uh, cooking a hot dog or something, then you definitely want to use wood just to keep any potential contaminants down. I do believe, oh, that didn't work. I do believe that this is the result, or the black smoke is a result of the scent. And these things tend to give off a lot of carbon when they burn. start mixing her around. You gotta be careful not to knock your stuff over. But it's going good. So if your can has a plastic lining, use it for the stove and then get a can that doesn't have the plastic lining to cook. Probably don't want to leave your plastic spoon in there for too long. Now there are other ways you could do this. You could always fold your can in. And then instead of using the stove top, you just put the can on top of the folds. Be a little bit more stable, but it's harder to get it level. You can also use this setup for some heat. I mean, there's a nice amount of fire going on in there. Like I say, those little fire starter things, they burn for about 20 minutes each. And that'll be enough for cooking. Still cold. but it can also provide you with some heat. Yeah, as you can see, we're starting to get a really good boil. So we're about, what, seven minutes in now? Stir. Once it starts boiling like this, it's a good sign. That means it'll thin out a little. Like I say, you can cook anything in a can like this, as long as that can doesn't have the plastic lining. Doing it on the ground is a little bit better because then you don't burn the table. But at the same time, it's not a gigantic threat since heat rises. Should just about be done. Now 
Now if you don't stir your soup, it's going to burn at the bottom. It isn't the biggest deal in the world. And I mean, some soups taste pretty good with a little bit of burnt in them. French onion soup, mushroom soup's okay. Tomato soup sucks when it burns. All right, I'm gonna let that go for a couple more minutes while I use the garbage can. So we're just about done, ready to eat. Can's giving off a nice amount of heat already. So I mean, if you were in a small shelter doing this, as long as your shelter is well ventilated so you don't get carbon monoxide buildup, you're cooking your food and providing yourself with a little bit of heat. Okay. Now I prefer doing it this way where you use this the the lid of the can as your stove plate but folding these tabs in will work as well i don't like to do that because of the stability issue i mean it's not like it's any more or less stable than this setup but then you get this stops or this acts as a barrier between the direct heat right so you're not getting the flames directly contacting this can which will make it easier to pick up when it's ready and it's easier to, you know, manage the temperature of it all. And as predicted, in about the time that it took for that to burn, my soup is now warm enough to eat. And that's your soup can stove. A great little survival thing. Whether you're homeless or out in the bush, this helps. Mm. Yum. It was better than it looked, that's for sure. Too bad I was a dumbass and spilt some, but enjoys it having one arm. I mean, this thing's still, still got some heat on it. So, I mean, the radiant heat will help you out. So, whether you're cooking with it or just using it as a heater, your soup can stove, a very handy, very handy item. Oh, Jeepers, life is so much easier when you have both fucking arms. There you go. Not the greatest meal, but it's a warm meal, and I feel better. <laughs>